Here I am minding my own business working on my Roblox game when I get a notification that Battle Breakers has been updated. So let's check out what we have. I haven't checked any patch notes, nothing. Just launched the game as soon as I got the notification. So we have a new battle pass. I am gonna be digging into that a little bit later. I'm really curious, what do we have there? Crystals, okay, hero crystals, interesting. I am more curious about have we gotten anything for the game than have we gotten anything new battle pass wise that we like can do. So like, let's check out what we have in, in the different areas I'm Whoa, that's uncool, man. No, 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 no. Nobody wants a PowerPoint presentation. This is like a flash. Let's see if we can remove this stuff. It's like how we did things 10 years ago. Nothing in the settings. Oh, what a bummer. Oh, man. Oh, well. Oh, well. Game's gonna be great anyway. Great, so let's just... I think I'm gonna be clearing out my stores, but let's check out the monster pit. Still max level 500, so that is a bummer for me anyway. One of the things I was really hoping was to be able to push forward in the monster pit, but no. Let's see if we can upgrade our heroes any further, if we can like make things stronger. No additional levels or power for the heroes. All right. All right, guys, I just cleared out my stores. Nothing of interest in here. Time to check out if there is like the map is the same. But we have something here. Battle pass challenges. I haven't bought the battle pass yet. I probably will. Remember, guys, if you're going to be buying the battle pass, you can use my supporter creator code, Loka Hansen, or click the link in the description to support my work. It means that a portion of sales goes to me for 14 days. I am like deeply honored if you guys want to be doing that. But I will, let's see, can I do any of this without actually buying it? Turn attack, deep dungeons. Okay, wow, we have three new modes. I don't know, guys, I'm just going to go in with like this kind of crazy group that I already have no idea what exactly this is going to be. We have as a community been asking for endless modes and... It appears that we have 38 rooms here, so it is not endless, but this is an indication that the game developers are listening to their community, to the players that love the game. 38 rooms is nowhere close to uh, infinite mode. Can I make this faster in any way? No, I cannot. Oh well. Um, so it is like this alone means that I'm going to be buying the battle pass because I want to support a game that is developing like the game towards where the players want to go. 38 rooms sounds like it isn't enough. I don't know. It's probably going to get like tougher and tougher and tougher, uh, but I'm pretty curious about like how things are. Like I said, I, I just went in here with this kind of random group. I may not make it to the end. Perhaps I will, but I'm I'm definitely gonna be like going as as far as I can with it. So um, so we shall see what we shall see when we shall see it. A lot of Vegemite being like rubbed on my screen right now. A lot of Tim Tam stuff going on because this is the first good game news I have had in a very 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 long time. Played Save the World for years. Nothing but depression and ignorance and like don't get me started. Started Minecraft Dungeons, was amazing, took three days to complete everything. Played Battle Breakers for, what, six months? And we have had some interesting updates, but it was a very fast game to complete as well. And we have had a lot of silence from the developers, but now out of nowhere we get this. I was expecting version 2.0 of Battle Breakers to be a huge update to the game with new game modes. This is only version 1.84. And we have two new game modes, new battle pass, stuff like that. We're going to check that out probably in another... What? Victory! Oh, then we can continue... Wow, 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 wow. We're getting 10 gem diamonds. This is... Holy freaking moly. These rewards for non-hardcore players. I mean, I got 10 gems. This is a complete shift in the game financials you can grind gems as a free player i don't have the i haven't bought the battle pass yet like i said i i'm gonna buy it 
it's gonna happen in this video absolutely um but uh, but they're giving out gems grindable gems for a game mode that is longer than what we had before which is exactly what players have been requesting and so far it looks like i can also this at least like up to the point where i'm getting gems wow i mean i i don't know if you guys so i have like sixty thousand gems i have all heroes I, I don't really need anything in the game but i i'm not like a super casual player when it comes to to games i am passionate about so i think less hardcore players that don't like full-time game are going to find these rewards to be crazy let's we're getting gems again we're even getting special experience points and of course we're getting the doubloons the new currency for the battle pass i don't know this is this is pretty amazing pretty pretty crazy silly amazing rewards downtime downside kind of being that you need to click continue uh, but perhaps i don't know it's um i would just like to have an a leave now button so you just continue until you don't want to continue any longer and then just rake up the rewards in the end but i don't know it's it's okay to <laughs> like have a button every once in a while that you that you need to click on especially if you feel like things are getting tougher so far it feels like I'm, I'm still in a pretty good position in terms of, of being able to auto play this. I have so much stuff coming in the works, guys. I'm working on not just one, but three Roblox games that I hope to publish, uh, like make public. Wow, gems again, special experience. We even got foil. Wow. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm working on some Roblox games. It's going to be fun just doing some crazy stuff that, yeah, I'll, I'll more about that in another video. The Pi network is about to explode. More than three and a half million people earning cryptocurrency daily from their app. And we have Pi Day 2 coming around the corner. So if you're not earning your free cryptocurrency, download the Pi network app. You can write in Loka Hansen when it asks who invited you. And just, you know, you click a button once per day and then you earn cryptocurrency for free. It's uh, mind blowing. And like I said, we have Pi Day 2 coming right around the corner. Things are gonna explode. Um, like so much stuff going on. Just really looking forward to sharing a lot more with you guys now that things are, are getting more back to normal here in the Denmark where I live. But wow, this is so far pretty, pretty tank and spank. Not really feeling the difficulty. 14 out of 38 rooms of course i'm not even halfway there and oh i didn't notice that before uh zone four out of ten so apparently we have zones in here so i guess each time i opt to continue i load another zone so we have 10 reward piles in total if i am understanding this correctly which i uh, <laughs> expect that i am so once I've hit the, the continue button the next time around, I think that we're just gonna, uh, like I'm gonna open the patch notes so that I can read them while things are going a little bit on auto here so that I know what um, <laughs> what it is that we have gotten, what the developers are saying about the update. Ah, RTX parts. All right, Battle Breakers 184 patch notes. New battle pass. Take to the skies with an all new battle pass introducing Three new heroes, a pet, and gold balloons. Heroes. Parrot. The pirate pet. All pirates need a trusty friend. Parrot's loyalty is undaunted and loves to play hide and speak. All right. Then we have Mischief Maker, a nature pirate. Always the troublemaker. Mischief can be found below deck preparing his next trick on the crew. We have... Beast Cannon Fire Pirate. This powerful fire hero comes fully loaded with cannons for hands. Okay, sounds <laughs> interesting. Then we have Swashbuckle Nature Pirate. Swashbuckle leads the crew on bold and daring adventures. He enjoys playing hide and speak with Parrot. All right, so not much there telling us what, <laughs> what we actually have to work with. But now the interesting stuff, Battle Pass changes. We've revamped the Battle Pass experience with a focus on gameplay. Thank you. 
if all games just did that. Focus on gameplay. Thank you. You can now access the battle pass via the play button and find new game modes where we've introduced different rules and ways to play. Challenge dungeons filled entirely with bosses or build the ultimate team in a level where all of your heroes count as commanders. Wow. We getting gems again and foil. Holy freaking moly. So that's the game mode I'm playing right now. All opponents count as bosses, meaning their abilities are active. Their commander skills is what I'm assuming. And all of my heroes are commanders. So like you can put in crazy combos, get a 100% critical hit chance, all that kind of stuff. We're going to be having so much fun in a mode with six solo commanders, your own heroes, six of those going to be crazy. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> a new modes, Deep Dungeon, that's what I'm playing in this new game mode. Players choose their team of heroes to clear out a seemingly endless amount of levels with a variety of enemies. Clear as many levels as you can. The deeper you go, the better the reward. Seamlessly endless uh, 38 rooms, but uh, <laughs> enough about that. Time Attack, the attack pits our hero... Oh, I'm just going to check out the rewards here. Ah more special experience points and we're getting essence these rewards are amazing uh, but anyway time attack time attack pits our heroes against the clock can you clear out the enemies before time runs out only the fastest players will be rewarded i'm gonna do that as well turn attack auto oh okay they know who we are auto battlers beware that's me anyway Turn attack mode requires players to finish the enemies within a specific amount of turns. Players who complete the challenge will be rewarded. Oh, we're gonna do that. We're so gonna do that. Uh, on auto, of course. <laughs> Changes and fixes. For PC, added a close button to the game over pop-up when the game is minimized. Improved update checking to reduce cases where the client gets outdated. It is recommended that players restart the game when an update is released. Okay, who has their game running for months? Reduced GPU usage when the game is minimized. Amazing. Enabled VSync. Made various improvements to widescreen view. Thank you. Fixed. Oh, we gotta check out the rewards here. Let's see what... Holy, wow. Look at those. Those rewards are just insane. Wow, this is... I'm gonna be grinding this and nothing else. Uh, where did I um, fix several issues caused by changing language without restarting the game? Fixed Korean font in gear screen and fixed several German localization issues. Then we have some general, a new option in Skybreaker quests let you rapidly make choices to make it easier to loop back through hero choices that is probably amazing. Improved UI reliability, visuals and functionality. The UI now handles higher resolution devices better, which is good. I don't like the new PowerPoint flashy flashy stuff, but... Improved the player experience when using the world map and the user interface. Improved team builder, remembering bonus commander selected in last level. Added an option to hide reflex pop-ups. Added a confirmation pop-up to unlocking sidekick slots. Many will enjoy that. Added time remaining to some sale prices, improved various pop-ups to work better on a very narrow devices, improved hero portraits, also battle will no longer be disabled after losing in PvP, and we're getting more rewards, so let's check that out. Okay, two different essence amounts, and we're getting the foil stuff. Holy freaking amazingness. Oh, we have turns left now. Okay, okay. So perhaps I can't alter this. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> turns turns are going in, in the right direction. I I think I can rest assured that my auto team is gonna is gonna do this. Oh uh, okay. Weekly challenge now remembers the last part used. Pet charge now shows from all attacks. Removed psych kicks from rep hero UI. Fixed inspect issues in team builder. Fixed some common heroes that could access elixirs or power core upgrades when they shouldn't be able to. Fixed stat display for sidekick bonuses on the hero details panel and stats not updating after leveling in some cases. Fixed dual win count resetting on nightly flip. Okay. 
fixed hero detail skill level showing wrong when cycling between heroes, fixed several elements that overlapped on different aspect radios, fixed the inspect position for numerous heroes, fixed some crashes on iOS, fixed some crashes where loading installing screens get stuck, fixed a rare freeze in the tutorial and fixed a download error caused by audio in some cases. So those were the 1.84 patch notes and honestly guys, the fact that they have given us the type of content that we have been requesting is, I am amazed. Let's see what we're getting here. Cloud Puff cookies and essence. Wow, and special experience points. So we're going into, wow, we still have, we still have a way to go, that is for sure. So this is definitely not one of those, I'm just gonna take a two minute kind of battle. And because we have these buttons that we actually need to click to decide whether we want to continue or end, abandon, like collect just the rewards we have gotten so far, this means that you can do it casually but you can also like go for all the big bucks. And that is of course what we're gonna do so far, to be honest, based on the rewards. I don't feel like the rewards have been getting better and better, but we have been playing less rooms before getting the rewards. So we're getting rewards more frequently here in the end is how I feel. And I mean, I've been reading the patch note while it has been also grinding, but getting gems as a reward in my opinion combined with foil and special experience point that is that is really amazing getting these rtx parts and not as impressive actually in at the end of this but let us see when we complete the final room if i actually do that i'm hyped that we both had like classic tank and spank kind of levels we had some timed ones we even had like sea lung and lifebringer silicia in here so that is definitely something, especially like because you are in the timed matches there that can probably provide a bit of an obstacle for, for some players, especially with auto teams, if you aren't like completely done collecting the heroes that you want to play with in here. But apparently my team is good enough for this. Probably not the fastest team you can play with in here, but it is apparently able to... Oh, oh, oh. Ceremonial armor. Thank you, Battlebreaker gods. That was... Sir, I, if you don't know, then just... That was a good reward. That was a good reward. <laughs> oh, wow. I am, um, yeah, just gonna be claiming this now then. I think it is time for me to put my money where my mouth is and buy the battle pass. Remember, guys... Write in Loka Hansen as your supporter creator in the Epic Game Store when you install the Battle Breakers game. Thank you. A portion of sale goes to me when you use my supporter creator code or link. Alright guys, so I bought the Battle Pass and I'm going to be looking into these Battle Pass heroes in another video. This one is already getting pretty long due to the new game mode that we have, but I want to try the turn attack and time attack before going into video editing mode because... I want to nitty gritty this stuff, but I also just want to be checking it out like virgin vanilla style with you guys before doing a bit more auto battle, like doing stats and nitty gritty stuff on it while checking out my Pi network and while working on my Roblox gaming. So we have 175 seconds to complete seven rooms. That is going to be impossible. Oh, we're gaining seconds every time we take something out. That is... Okay, I guess that's kind of fair since the most of the stuff we spend time on in the game is animations that don't really need to be there. And like these golems sacrificing themselves to revive other heroes like back and forth, a lot of time is being spent with that. So I guess it kind of balances things out because, and I mean, this is, <laughs> this is not a, like a huge area kind of group. I guess if we, if I had a pure area group like what I used to farm some levels that just deal damage to everything on the board, it will be a lot 
a lot snappier to to progress through the time mode but I don't want to do that right now I just want to go in with whatever I don't even know why it is selecting the kind of group that it is I mean it wasn't the group that I took into the endless mode that isn't endless in any way but different kind of story <laughs> um but but yeah it selected a group I just went in with it it was light I guess since I have this group this is I think my default light group so cuz I mean Leandra she's crazy Seraph Ariel she's crazy Sky Pirate Ferris insane and Lifebringer Celicia I mean she's not Mahani Jill Ziffer is Mahani everybody knows that but Lifebringer can stand in line somewhere and with Ramirez from from Save the World she's in line as well if a clearing comes up if like if Jill Ziffer leaves me or Claire perhaps then it's nice to have a uh, some ladies lined up, that's a different story entirely. I'm back at, yeah, max time, really. If I had assassins here, I would be getting rid of these towers a little bit more snappy. So far, guys, impressions on Battlebreakers version 1.84 update. This is unexpected. It is a lot more than I ever thought we would get in a completely random update it is not 100 percent based on what i've done so far and like i've been playing 20 minutes or something it is not enough this is not going to be enough to keep battle breakers forever ever amazing because we still don't have anything to do we don't have uh, crazy hardcore or, like gear or heroes that we can only get by doing like uh, 5,000 rooms in an endless mode or completing level 999 in the collection book or we don't have an entire new map area with as many levels to complete as we already have so let's see the rewards here was exactly what I was saying hmm so they're giving off these hero crystals and the foil quite a bit so it's gonna be a lot easier for people to get their monster pit up and running that is really amazing let's check out the turn attack I have no idea guys I probably shouldn't go in with lifebringer Celicia again I don't know why this group is selected it's a default kind of thing so I'm just I'm just gonna roll with it and see see how things are gonna be like traditionally these are not the type of games I enjoy because like they wrote in the batch in the batch notes in the patch notes auto play and turn is a bad combo because the ai is going to clear all crystals it's going to jump into all bonus maps where if you're manually playing it you can do it a lot more efficiently but let's just see how how the ai plays this and this is going to be the last thing that i'm going to be doing in this video guys because like i said I'm gonna need a gritty stuff, I'm gonna grind out the battle pass, I wanna check out the new heroes, but I need to unlock them first, so I have a little bit of grinding to do, and yeah, like you guys saw at the start of the video, I was in the middle of some <laughs> some Lua programming in my, in my Roblox game, so I just need to get that chapter completed as well, but put it down there in the comments, guys, what do you feel about version 1.84 of the Battle Breakers update? Were you expecting it? I know they have been teasing it on Twitter, um, but were you expecting an update like this at all from Battle Breakers? Is it enough for you? Does it have you excited? Are you gonna be grinding it or not? Are you getting the battle pass? Also, Pi Network guys, put it down there if you, a lot of you guys have already joined, taken up my invitation. I know you guys are earning the cryptocurrency, you're in my earnings group. How many of you guys are enjoying it? What are your thoughts about it? Pi Day 2 is coming right around the corner. Pi Network is gonna explode even more than it is already. Wow, I need to stop talking now. Um, yeah. Good thing. I, I don't think we would have made that on Auto. I really had to go solo mode. To use that very last thing or it would have been game over but i'm gonna make an auto team that can beat this and uh, <laughs> then we're gonna then we're gonna waltz through it auto style if you haven't joined 
Pi Network app or mindpi.com slash Hansen. Join the crazy freebie crypto earnings and put it down there in the comments what you feel about the Pi Network and the Pi cryptocurrency as well. So anyway, guys, that was what I had to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you very much for watching.